What's going on guys and gals? My name is William Clark and welcome to a video. Okay, so, do you want to see the most offensive video you've ever seen in your life? You do? Good. But if you don't, fuck you, you're getting it anyway. So, the first thing, I mean, what has gotten into this world that everything is so offensive? I mean, every single fucking tiny thing, every tiny thing is offensive to someone. Uh, a couple weeks ago, actually today, I saw something that made no sense. One of the biggest things was that Delta Airlines and Coca-Cola had to apologize over napkins. Yes, you heard me right, napkins. Now, these were not just any ordinary napkins, oh hell no. These were offensive napkins. You want to know why they were offensive? They were offensive because they were promoting talking to people face to face, basically. So here's how this would work. They would give you the napkins, okay? And then you would write your name or number and give it to someone else. Thus, basically trying to make friends and, and you know, whatever. Try to talk to people that may or may not have things in common. Okay? Sounds like a good idea, right? Well, not to some people. Some certain people got pissed off at the idea of, of walking up to a person and saying, Oh, hey, how's it going? I'm so-and-so. You know, oh yeah, if you, ever, if you want, ever want to contact me on my phone or tablet or whatever, here's my number. If not, that's totally cool. Whatever. I mean, and so, someone saw that and be like, Oh, fuck no, fuck no. They're trying to promote being social, these people, oh, fuck me with a fork. Hey, that's offensive to forks. <laughs> it's also offensive to spoons. I mean, I, if we're going to be crazy about it, let, let's fucking, let, yeah, let's, let's be racist towards forks, okay? Spoons are better than forks, you racist. I mean, like, who the fuck cares, okay? Who the hell cares about these napkin, these napkins? I mean... If you don't want to do it, don't fucking do it, okay? Don't... Uh, okay, because you people don't have any social skills just because you people don't have any life whatsoever outside of your fucking phones and tablets and, and, and whatever, all your technological hoo-hahs and doohickeys. You have to ruin this for everybody else. People like me who would actually think that's a good idea because, hey, if I did it, I might meet some new people that also do YouTube. I might meet some people that, that have interest in video games, or have interest in My Little Pony, or have interest in drinking Gatorade. I don't know. I mean, it's fine. I don't see a problem with it, but apparently a lot of people do. And you people are what I would like to call fucking idiots. Ha! Fuck you, people. So, another thing. Uh, this happened last year, I believe. In December. I know it's a little late, but fuck it. Better late, better late than never. So, multiple things people got offensive over. The SJW community and all this shit's going down straight to hell. Because they wanted to ban... Um, what was that song? What was that one song? Shit, I forgot. But they were gonna ban the song. Um. Shit, I I, st I don't know. I forgot why they wanted to ban it, but it was for, for some stupid fucking reason. Because it offended people. At one point, they were gonna outright ban the song. Oh, baby, it's, uh, baby, it's cold outside. That was the song that they wanted to ban because of that line. You know, baby is cold outside. Like, why would you want to ban that song? Doctors couldn't say that, you know, because I guess it was trying to promote being flirty with people. I mean, I don't fucking know. What the hell has gotten into these people? Okay, okay. They also wanted to ban Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You want to know why? Because the red nose people were thinking was either racist or... 
being rude and whatever to disabled kids and, and you know, misfits. What in the holy mother of cat vaginas is this shit? You're telling me. You're, you're telling me. You're, t you're, you're, you're fucking telling me. That one of the most classic Christmas shows, I mean, I don't really like it because I, I, it's not my thing. I'm not much of a Christmas person when it comes to watching holiday specials. I'm not much of a fan of that. I'd rather just, whatever. If, if, I, if I was going to be festive, I'd just play some festive video games or maybe play some Call of Duty Ghosts and have, like, the Christmas holiday skin pack or whatever for, for the guns or whatever. But... I mean, to say that Rudolph is racist because of that, and, and also, basically, <laughs> I've lost my fucking hope in humanity, okay? I've always lost my, my fucking faith in humanity, but these recent years, these recent years, because of all the challenges that are going on, and all the things that people are finding offensive in some way, shape, or form that isn't offensive at all. It's pissing me off to no fucking end, okay? For example, some people are saying they want a female Santa. Because they think the Jolly Green, uh, Jolly Green Giant... Does, I, I don't know. I, you know. Fuck that guy, okay? Who cares about vegetables? And while we're talking, you know what? Why not just get rid of Jolly Green Giant too? Just like just get rid of that guy for promoting vegetables and, and good good old fashioned you know, good good eating good and healthy and shit. I mean, I'm not a big fan of vegetables, but do you see me going around talking on Twitter saying, Hey, you know what you know what? Let's fucking ban the Jolly Green Giant because he's promoting healthy habits. That would be fucking absurd, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna be next. I'm sure that's gonna be one of the next things that's going to happen in 2019. Because you want to know why? People are fucking stupid. They will see anything. Whether it be the Coca-Cola and Delta Airlines napkin issue. That isn't really an issue. Or they're, they're going to be seeing about Rudolph and all this shit. And they're going to be like... You know what? The Jolly Green Giant. That's it. That's what we're going to be targeting next. We are going to, we are going to target... The Jolly Green Giant, because he's promoting healthy habits. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if I was on YouTube or on some other website with all the news, like on Facebook, and, and I see this. Jolly Green Giant has been found offensive because promoting healthy habits or some shit like that. Like, why in the fuck are you so offended over something so fucking stupid? Okay, if you don't want to watch the holiday specials, don't watch the holiday specials. If you don't want to do the, the, if you don't want to be social, don't be fucking social. It's so simple. It's so fucking easy and simple. A caveman can do it. Like this goddamn guy cut commercials. Oh, wait. That's offensive to Neanderthals. Thals. Fuck, I, I fucked that up. That is racist and offensive toward Neanderthals because of the blah, 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 blah. Shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. All right. I don't fucking care if you get easily offended over the most stupidest shit on the fucking planet. All right. You see this? This is me not giving a shit. Not, this is me not giving one fuck, not two fucks. I don't give any fucks. I don't even give a half a fuck. Because people are stupid. Now, going back to what I was talking about with the whole holiday shit. They wanted to have a female version of Santa Claus. And also, they wanted him to be skinny. As fuck. Okay, first and foremost, there already is a female Santa. You want to know what her fucking name is called? It's goddamn Mrs. Claus, okay? First things first. And second of all... The jolly red fat man. If you made him skinny, he wouldn't be the jolly red fat man. He'd be the jolly red skinny man, and that would fuck everyone up. That would, that would even cause people to go in the goddamn cardiac arrest just by looking at the goddamn fucking things that people are coming up with. 
These things, these fucking things, I don't understand. Why are we living in a world where everybody is offended over some stupid fucking shit? People, okay, you can't even give your opinion on something without people getting offended. Okay, you know what, fuck it. I don't care. I'm gonna state my goddamn honest to Princess Celestia's asshole opinion. You wanna know what that is? Fluttershy is best pony. You heard me right. Fluttershy is the best pony. Yeah, come at me. Come at me. Twilight Sparkle fans and Rarity fans and all that stuff. All the other pony fans. Let me tell you something. I don't give a flying vagina. Because you people have nothing better to do than fucking find some ridiculous shit and, and, and you know, whatever. Like for me, for example, I played Smash Brothers Brawl the other day. Um, and I was like, oh, this is the best fucking Smash Brothers game of all time. And someone had the balls, or more like, had nothing better to do with their fucking life, rather than try to piss off everybody and get everyone else offended, and said, no, bitch, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate on the Switch is better than Brawl. Yeah, well, I've never played that game, so I'm pretty sure if I played that game, I would see that that is the best Smash Brothers game ever. But no, I don't have a Switch, I don't have a Wii U, so I can't play the Smash Brothers U or whatever it's called, or the 3DS version of Smash Brothers, because I don't have that. So, yeah. Fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck you. I don't give a shit. You know, I mean, is it really hard to fucking not get offended anymore? Is it so goddamn Celestia damn fuck damn hard to get somewhere in life without getting offended? Now, whatever happened to racism when it actually meant something, like you call a black person the n-word, or you call a white person something, or an Asian person something, and that was actually offensive. We have strained, we, we fucking strayed so far down that fucking line that if we said that kind of shit now, nobody would care. Simply because they apparently have much better things to do. Now, one of the better things they have to do is complain about TV remotes. I mean, someone literally was complaining that TV re remotes are way too complex. With all their fucking goddamn buttons, one through nine and zero. One, well, basically one through zero or zero through nine or whatever the fuck. And also, why doesn't one, why does zero come after one? Why is zero down at the fucking bottom when it should be at the top? Like, I don't fucking know how you people sleep at night. I, I, this is not just, this is, this is not, I, I really am pissed off about this. This is not me trying to be funny or me trying to be in character or anything like that. I don't even have any character or anything like that. This is me actually being fucking pissed off because everybody's offended. Well, guess what, bitches? I'm offended that you're offended. Bitch. So let me tell you something else. Another thing that they were complaining about when it comes to TV remotes. Get this. They have volume buttons. We should take them out. Oh, fuck you, you fucking stupid idiots. I don't care about your first world problems. Just because you think the PS4 Pro is better than the Xbox One doesn't mean you need to go into all-out war when someone states an opinion. And, and with the, the TV remote thing, you know, I, I know the, the PS4 thing was totally just out of left field or right field or whatever the fuck you say, but it's ridiculous. I don't care about TV remotes. I really fucking don't. I just get my TV remote, if I ever watch TV, turn on the TV, flip through the channels maybe, use, use the other remote, be like, okay, yeah, 
Okay, what's on TV? Oh, My Little Pony. Ooh, Naruto. Oh, Inuyasha. Yeah, you know, I just look through the channels and see what's on. I don't worry about the numbers. I don't worry about the plus or minus buttons that equal fucking volume. Another thing that people are talking about. I'm offended that there is no Facebook button on the smart TV remotes. Really? Are, are you fucking kidding me right now? You're so worried about a, no Facebook on remotes. You know what? If you are so concerned about goddamn fucking you know remotes for your TV, why the fuck don't you just make one your goddamn self? Make it how you want it. If you don't want to add plus and minus buttons that equal volume, do it. If you want to have Facebook on the goddamn button selection screen or button selection on the 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 bottom of the remote, you do that shit. If you want to have zero. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do it! I don't fucking care! I don't care about your problems! I don't care about your shitty, pathetic, first world problems, okay? I have my own first world problems to deal with, thank you very much. Like the fact my PS3 doesn't play discs anymore. That's the worst! Like, have you ever wanted to play a game of God of War? One, or maybe the God of War collection. Only to find out your PS3 no, no longer plays discs because something's wrong with the system. Yeah, that pisses me off more than life itself. I think life pisses me off pretty damn every day because of all this shit that I'm seeing on social media and all that stuff. And I might be wondering, you know, if you're so pissed off about social media, why are you on it? Like, why are you looking at these things that piss you off? Well... It's simple. It's everywhere. It's fucking everywhere. You go on YouTube, someone's offended over something, and someone makes a video about being offended over this and that and this and that. You see this and every fucking thing else. You see on Facebook the same thing. Twitter, not that anybody uses MySpace anymore, but MySpace. You go on every fucking social media site that ever, that ever existed, and you see... All this stuff about people getting offended over stupid shit. Now, I might be wondering, why don't you just get rid of your Facebook or get rid of your YouTube? I'm a fucking YouTuber! By telling me to get rid of my account, you're telling me to throw away everything I've ever done. All the fucking almost seven years of videos that I've made. You're telling me to just get rid of that because I'm offended? Well, I'm not really offended, but pissed off. Yeah, well, I'm offended that you. Yeah, I'm offended that you came up with that idea. You fuckers. I mean, seriously. How hard is it to accept everything that's going on? You know, why are you focusing on the small, stupid shit that doesn't matter? Like, like for example, Sonic and Black Knight's a fucking awesome game, and yet everybody is saying it sucks. And, and the ones that think it sucks. You know, people that love the game are offended by are are offended by the haters. The haters are offended by the people that love the game. I just, who the hell cares if you're offended that this game is a good game? Who cares if it sucks? Who cares if it's good? If you don't like the game, don't fucking play it. You don't have to be offended over every fucking thing and fucking existence. Get yourselves a fucking life. Get a life. If you have nothing better to do. Go fucking search for a life. If you can't find one, make one. I don't fucking care how you plan on getting a life. You fucking better goddamn motherfucking shit suck and get one. For goddamn good reason. Because I am tired of everything being offensive. I I, I, I can't show my nipples. I'll do them anyway. I'll fucking I'll show my nipples on screen right now. I don't care if you are offended by seeing my nipples. I don't give a flying vagina. No one cares about your problems. Now, as harsh as that might be, I don't give a fuck. I really don't give a flying fuck. I don't give any fucks, flying or otherwise. <laughs> and I just can't believe that people would just fucking... Okay. People would rather 
Focus on the small, stupid shit that doesn't matter, as opposed to the real stuff that actually does matter. And what are those things that actually matter? I don't know. Taxes. Food. You know, if Trump's going to get the end of the world brought up. I mean, we, we have a lot of better issues to worry about. We got gun control to worry about. We got all these school shooting issues going down. We have all these things that we, that we need to address. Matter of fact, I my next video is going to be about video games and how they're not violent at all. Well, actually, yeah, there are, they are violent, but they don't cause violence. They don't do what everybody else thinks. And that will be my next video. That's another thing. You, know, you got the goddamn senators and, and other political people being offended that video games cause violence and, 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 and whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking done, alright? If you people want to be fucking stupid and waste your life and thinking that the whole world revolves around you, fucking, you know, saying that napkins are the, the worst things to happen in the world because they're trying to... Do this and do that, and I don't fucking care anymore. You do you. If you want to ruin your goddamn life, do it. I don't care. Just leave me the fuck out of it. I don't want to make another video on this, but I feel like I'm going to have to because, I don't know. You know what? Fuck it. I don't, I don't give a shit. I really don't give a shit. I'm done giving a shit. I was done giving a shit a long ass time ago. But now I'm emotionally I'm I'm emotionally drained, I'm physically drained, I'm drained of fucking every goddamn thing that ever was. Because of everything that's going down. Everything that's offensive, apparently that isn't really supposed to be offensive. I'm I'm fucking done, okay? Game over. Blah, blah, blah. Who gives a fuck? Anyways, guys and gals, if you like this video, give this video a like. If it was fun, too. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn thing. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon down below. To get notified of my future uploads and live streams, whatever the fuck else that I do. And as always, I will see you on the next video. Peace out, people. And bro -ho. Boom.